Towering above the clouds at 8,849 meters, Mount Everest is more than just the world's tallest mountain, it's a place of adventure, mystery, and incredible stories. From record-breaking feats to hidden secrets, Everest continues to captivate the world. But how much do you really know about this iconic peak? In today's video, we're uncovering 10 fascinating facts about Mount Everest that you probably didn't know. Get ready to be amazed. And stick around until the end to learn why Everest isn't technically the tallest mountain in the world, yes, you heard that right. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Now, let's get started. Did you know that Mount Everest is actually getting taller? That's right, this iconic peak grows by about 4 millimeters every year. The reason lies deep beneath the Earth's surface. Everest was formed millions of years ago when the Indian tectonic plate collided with the Eurasian plate, forcing the land upward to create the Himalayas. This collision is still happening today, causing Everest to slowly rise higher and higher. Although these changes are too small to notice in our lifetimes, they remind us that Everest is a living part of our planet's incredible geological journey. Mount Everest may hold the title of the highest mountain above sea level, but it's not the tallest mountain in the world when measured from base to peak. That honor goes to Mauna Kea, a dormant volcano in Hawaii. While Everest soars to 8,849 meters above sea level, Mauna Kea measures an incredible 10,210 meters, 33,500 feet, but most of it is hidden beneath the ocean. Think of it this way, if we drained the oceans, Mauna Kea would easily tower over Everest. But since most of its height is underwater, Everest keeps the crown for the highest peak you can climb from sea level. So, next time someone says Everest is the tallest, you'll have a fun fact to share. At an altitude above 8,000 meters, 26,247 feet, lies the infamous dead zone. This is where the air is so thin that oxygen levels drop to just one-third of what we breathe at sea level. For climbers, every step feels like a marathon, and the human body begins to shut down due to lack of oxygen. Spending too long in the dead zone can lead to life-threatening conditions like hypoxia, where your brain and body are starved of oxygen, or pulmonary edema, a buildup of fluid in the lungs. That's why climbers rely on supplemental oxygen and strict timing to survive this brutal stretch. Did you know? Most fatalities on Everest occur in the dead zone, especially during the descent. Conquering the dead zone is one of the ultimate tests of human endurance, but it's not the only challenge climbers face. Let's look at the legendary duo who conquered Everest first. The year was 1953, and the world was captivated by one of the greatest feats in human history. On May 29th, Sir Edmund Hillary, a beekeeper from New Zealand, and Tenzing Norgay, a Sherpa from Nepal, became the first people to officially reach the summit of Mount Everest. Their historic climb was part of a British expedition led by Colonel John Hunt. Using primitive equipment compared to today's standards, Hillary and Tenzing braved freezing temperatures, high winds, and the dangerous dead zone to etch their names into history. But here's an intriguing fact, to this day, there's been speculation about who stepped onto the summit first. Both men insisted they reached the top as a team, a testament to their camaraderie. Tenzing later revealed Hillary stepped on the summit fir first, but they always credited their success to teamwork. It's hard to imagine the challenges they faced up there, especially with Everest's bone-chilling temperatures. Let's dive into just how extreme they can get. Mount Everest isn't just the tallest mountain in the world, it's also one of the coldest. In the harsh winter months, temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling minus 60 degrees Celsius minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit at the summit. Even in the summer climbing season, when conditions are considered more favorable, temperatures average around minus 19 degrees Celsius minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Adding to the challenge are the brutal winds that can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, making it feel even colder. 
These extreme conditions mean frostbite, hypothermia, and exhaustion are constant threats for climbers. To survive, they rely on specialized gear and careful timing to avoid the mountain's deadliest weather. Did you know? Everest is so cold that climbers have reported their water bottles freezing solid, even inside their backpacks. Yet, despite these freezing temperatures, there's a group of people who have mastered Everest like no one else, the legendary Sherpas. Let's explore their incredible story next. When it comes to climbing Mount Everest, no one deserves more credit than the incredible Sherpas. These indigenous people of the Himalayan region have been the backbone of every successful expedition, carrying supplies, setting up camps, and guiding climbers through dangerous routes. Their unmatched endurance and deep knowledge of the mountains make them true heroes of Everest. Over the years, Sherpas have set incredible records. Kami Rita Sherpa holds the world record for the most summits of Everest, with a staggering 28 ascents. But their contributions go far beyond numbers, they are the silent lifeline for climbers, often risking their lives to ensure the safety of others. Did you know? Sherpas have a genetic adaptation that allows them to thrive in low oxygen environments, making them uniquely suited for high altitude climbing. Despite their vital role, the growing popularity of Everest has created some unexpected challenges, like traffic jams at the top. Let's take a closer look at this shocking phenomenon next. Believe it or not, the summit of Mount Everest has experienced traffic jams. Every year, during the short climbing window in May, hundreds of climbers attempt to reach the top. This leads to long queues on narrow paths in the death zone, where oxygen is scarce, and time is critical. In 2019, a shocking photo of a traffic jam near the summit went viral, showing over 300 climbers waiting in line. This congestion not only increases the physical risks, but also raises concerns about safety and the environmental impact of so many climbers. Did you know? Overcrowding has led to some climbers running out of oxygen tanks while waiting to summit or descend. While traffic jams are a modern challenge, they're just one of many issues Everest faces. Next, we'll explore the darker side of this iconic mountain, its growing litter problem and the chilling reality of lives lost on its slopes. Mount Everest's popularity as a climbing destination has come at a cost. The mountain is now referred to as the world's highest garbage dump. Over the decades, climbers have left behind tons of trash, including empty oxygen tanks, torn tents, food wrappers, and other debris that take decades to decompose in the extreme environment. Adding to this grim reality is the fact that over 300 climbers have died on Everest since attempts began. Most bodies remain on the mountain due to the extreme difficulty and expense of recovering them. These frozen climbers often serve as grim markers along the route. Did you know? Cleanup expeditions now include Sherpas and volunteers who risk their lives to remove trash and bring dignity to the mountain. Despite these challenges, Climbers from all over the globe continue to flock to Everest. Let's take a look at the diverse group of adventurers who've made history on this iconic peak. Mount Everest is truly a global adventure, attracting climbers from all corners of the world. Since the first successful summit in 1953, more than 10,000 climbers from over 100 countries have reached the top, making it a symbol of human determination and ambition. One of the most inspiring stories comes from Junko Tabiai, a Japanese mountaineer who in 1975 became the first woman to reach Everest summit. Tabiai's accomplishment opened the door for more women to pursue their mountaineering dreams and prove that Everest isn't just for elite athletes, it's for anyone determined enough to tackle its challenges. Did you know? Some climbers attempt Everest as a personal challenge, while others aim to set world records. For example, Jordan Romero summit Everest at just 13 years old, making him the youngest person ever to reach the top. Climbers come from all over, but Everest has another fascinating aspect, its names. Let's explore the significance behind the mountain's multiple names and what it means to those who live near it. 
While the world knows this mountain as Mount Everest, its true significance runs much deeper in the cultures surrounding it. To the Nepali, it is called Sagarmatha, which means Goddess of the Sky. To the Tibetans, it is known as Komalungma, or Mother Goddess of the World. These names reflect the reverence and spiritual importance Everest holds for the local people. For the Sherpas and Tibetans, Everest is more than just a mountain to climb, it is a sacred and spiritual symbol. Many climbers, before attempting the summit, take part in rituals or seek blessings from local spiritual leaders, hoping for safe passage on their journey. Did you know? Sir George Everest, after whom the mountain is named, was a British surveyor general who never actually saw the mountain himself. The name was chosen in his honor by the Royal Geographical Society in the 19th century. Whether it's called Sagarmatha, Komalungma, or Everest, this majestic peak continues to inspire awe and respect from climbers and locals alike. And there you have it, 10 fascinating facts about Mount Everest. From its rising height to its sacred significance, this iconic mountain continues to captivate adventurers, scientists, and dreamers around the world. Whether it's the challenges of the dead zone, the bravery of the Sherpas, or the overwhelming beauty of the summit, Everest is a symbol of human endurance and spirit. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on more incredible content about the world's greatest wonders. And if you have any interesting Everest facts of your own, drop them in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Stay curious, and keep exploring.